What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today I just want to give you guys some advice, don't make this mistake. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today I was just getting ready to start this mix and I um, I have this, um, this piece of advice for you and I just want you guys real quickly to watch the screen. Um, Whenever I whenever I work with an artist, uh, typically what I do is I'll send them a two track of the instrumental, and when I get the track back to mix, is I go ahead and I bring um, their vocals and and fly them back into the actual beat section um, where I have everything as MIDI, and then um, you know eventually I'll stem this stuff out, you know bounce it in place so that so that I'm working with straight audio, but when you when you do this when you bounce a song out to um to mp3 or wave or whatever what happens is if you pay attention to the um to the reference down here at the bottom of the screen you'll notice that there's this little um there's this little insertion of silence that the doll makes when they go ahead and they and they bounce it out and as you can see this kick is hitting at this point in time whereas if you look at the midi the kick is hitting over here so if i was to just not address this problem my vocalist is going to be off by this much and that is completely unacceptable you will ruin the vibe of the song and what will wind up happening is you'll send your mix back to your vocalist and typically they're not going to be able to identify what exactly it is that they don't like about the song they're just going to tell you that it sounds different and that's the most frustrating thing ever especially when you're dealing with somebody who is um, either talented or even or even semi-talented with a two-track mix and they've been listening to this mix for days and days and days and they finally get the money together to send it to you and then you go ahead and mix it and you know you kill it but because but because you have them off beat they're not gonna like it so all you have to do to remedy this is um, make sure that they send you back a reference or either the mp3 that you bounced out and, and you sent to them to record over and then you just want to go ahead and zoom in and make sure you have make sure you have all of your uh, vocal stems highlighted in order to do this and you just want to zoom in and go ahead and not and um <clears throat> just get rid of all that excess silence in the beginning of the track and I apologize for my killer chihuahua going hammer time in the background um, yes yeah, so you just want to drag it up right to the beginning zoom out and then you'll see that you're on beat you can see your snares are hitting on beat everything is where it's supposed to be and this is going to make it so that your vocals are going to sit correctly and you can um, go ahead and process your mix the way that it's supposed to sound and give your customers and clients the quality product that they need and they expect when they go ahead and fill up your paypal for the work so this is concrete zebra with craftmaster productions quick tutorial on a mistake not to make keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one